Hey guys, welcome back. So Manal taking gold at under 90s at the Masters in Jerusalem. I like Manal. I think he's probably going to go all the way. Definitely think he's got a world championship in him and maybe an Olympic gold as well. He's a special, special judoka. So we're going to have a look at him in detail. Some good epons and just some, some good stuff for us to learn as well. So starting off round one. I'm not too sure how to say this French man's name. In Gayup? Guy up, maybe, but when I get to Wazari, pretty average Wazari if you ask me, and then manages to burn the clock. Bit of a slow start, but things start to pick up. Round two now against Kochman, and this is a great, great Epon. This is a, the Kosoto that Morao likes, and that grip, if anyone knows, see that grip he's got underneath the underhook but up around kind of the, the top of the lapel. I know Wolf does it, I know Morales doing it, I know Baker does it. I wonder if it's a Tokai thing. Someone let me know. Let's have a look at this Ipon one more time. Coachman, he goes for the Kosoto. He tries to feed his left hand under Morales' waist. But you can see he just he just basically gives Morales the grip. And Coachman didn't have anything anything with his lapel hand. And Morales, perfect position for the Uchimata. Quarterfinals now against Ustop Piriong. And look at him trying to break that grip off. He can't break that grip off. So Morao, I think he's got very strong hands. Broke it off there, but that was after several attempts. And you're going to see a lot of that throughout this contest. Ustapurian, he's just trying to break those grips off. And he's he's so determined to try. I mean, I can't, I can't quite pick up if he's a left-handed fighter or a right-handed fighter. Pretty sure he's a right-handed fighter, but a lot of the time he's just trying to deal with these grips. See the inside hook on the leg Ustapurion has? That's illegal. So Ustapurion trying to get something going here. Uchimata in the Tomoe Nage, but we're now defending well. Nice bit of Ashiwaza there. And you're going to see Ustapurion try and break these grips. But we're now that that's his game. He's, he's, his judo is based around gripping. He's got some of the most disgusting fingers I've ever seen. And I heard on the commentary that they, they said Morel is kind of not very traditional, you know, kind of does a lot of awkward things. I don't think so. I think he's got pretty traditional judo. He doesn't do any awkward kind of like grips or awkward techniques. Very traditional stand-up judo. But you're going to see here, Ustapurion takes that, that big grip over the top and Morel likes it. So he's got a counter for that. He always keeps his left hand low. He always likes to take in, inside position. And if people go over the back, he's just going to launch with that Kosoto. So this contest here, just the Wazari. And Ustapurion just couldn't get through the grips. I mean, he's just trying to grab and go. Not a bad attempt at the end there, but time runs out. And we're into the semifinals. So semifinals now against Macedo from Brazil. And this was a quick match. This was unfortunate. So once again, left versus right. This is definitely Morales' specialty. Taking that inside grip that he loves. Defends the Kataguruma. And then Maceda looks for a sneaky little Tomoinage. I like it. I like that. That that's You can do that, right? I'm pretty sure you can do that. I mean, Morales was still on his feet. Still in touch he was, I guess. Looking for the sleeve grip, finally gets it, loses it. But this is Morao's game, no one does this better than Morao. He loves this position. But Macedo, it's good, looking aggressive, looks for the, the opposite side, drop down Sihirunege. But unfortunately for him, it's going to end very, very quickly. Little Kosoto gets the grip, goes for the Ochi. Thought about a top grip, but goes underneath. And then as Macedo is walking onto him, walks onto the Uchimata. So just fading backwards, puts the leg in. Beautiful Uchimata. And last up guys, the finals. I thought the final was probably the most exciting match from Morao against the, the Frenchman, Mathieu, who looked pretty good. He took out a bunch of people. But look at this, tries to get a pickup, and I think Morel does well here, does well 
to be balanced in those sorts of positions you don't want to be upright you want to be horizontal stop people from throwing you over so now he's got his grips he's got his sleeve although he's got top grip now which is not something that you see him do often top grip again looking for an osoto looking to pull him onto him for another ujimata Uchigari. and the good thing about this contest is Munao he gets a wazari up and then he just goes for it he just goes for that other wazari which is really really nice look at that sleeve grip he's got okay here's the big kosoto for the wazari to give this a wazari score we'll have a look at it again some people will call this a nidan kosoto sliding down the first leg stepping and then going again brilliant technique and th this is what really impressed me about the performance from Morao. So he's up at Wazari, it's in the finals. He could just burn the clock, but he goes for it. And he really went for it. So pretty good performance by Morao, guys. Mashiyama, he went out early. And I think those two, they're, they're starting a, a bit of a rivalry. Not too sure who's in front right now. Maybe still Mashiyama, but Morao, definitely looking pretty good. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.